Hi, it's John Alexander here, and um, welcome. This is I'm inside Google Insights for Search in Beta, and this is a relatively new tool that uh, Google has come up with to help you with getting insights into how people are searching. One of my favorite topics is keyword forensics, exploring user behavior, keyword research. I just think that's some of the fa most fascinating aspects to the type of work that you can do online in understanding the hot markets and, and building content that people are actually searching for. The tip I'm going to give you here is a very easy, very simple one, but what I see a lot of times when people do their keyword research is they tend to put in a keyword phrase. They're using their brains rather than letting the tool do the work. Now I'm not saying it's wrong if you have a, let's say, a let's say a, um, an informational website all about cooking and maybe you uh, you have different products for sale like uh, kitchen appliances and maybe you have recipes and different types of things like this most people will go in and they'll say well, I wonder what you know recipe for let's say chicken gravy or recipe for turkey gravy or recipe for this or that they're picking out phrases that they think are important or that they, they, they want to write about and there's nothing wrong you can do that but my tip is just try this go back and look at this for a minute now and be sure Google's done an excellent job here they got some good videos and some good uh, excellent um, help files in all of these sections this tool does a lot of things folks it's amazing and it's free and the source is Google so I mean it's it's pretty good here we go um, when we do a search for recipe just that word, that generic word, and then look. If you scroll, scroll down to the bottom of the page over here, you know you get these nice little maps, and you can search by city or by. You can change any of the parameters you want. But one of the most fascinating aspects is rising searches, and it's telling you the type of recipes that people are interested in. How much these are rising? Each of these are increasing. If you're going to create a page that helps people with information, why not find out something that's on the rise, something that's going to be more popular, so that you can help more people and you know choose the right kind of information? Who would um, think that a cup, a cupcake recipe would have risen in 200 percent? But if you want to look, just click on it. You can go in and look at it. You can actually see this, the regional interest where the the searches are coming from nice little map and you can see how it's risen over the period of time now here you've got other things that you could talk about in the recipe or similar things that are important to people this has been up um, you know butter cupcake recipe cupcake frosting is up eighty percent these are all things on the rise this is a powerful tool and the one thing this tool will not do though is it will not tell you how to optimize for highly competitive phrases um, and that's alright because you know that's what we do we teach people how to to get top visibility for, for their landscape for very competitive keyword phrases uh, at the search engine academy search engine workshops um, we help people um, with those kind of skills but here you have a tool that you can do the research and find out what your audience is really interested in. I have to tell you too, you can see how it's trying to attempt to make a prediction now that's based on past trends, interests over time. Um, I think that this tool is phenomenal considering that it's free and you need to get in here and try it out, try it out for yourself but remember there's great power if you give the tool the um, the option to do more generic work as opposed to you defining the exact phrase that you want to see there's nothing wrong with putting an exact phrase in there but you're going to see more if you give it the opportunity to um, show you the, the rising trends like this and you can do this prob probably with just about any any kind of action related subject matter for instance if you were writing about how you make the you stir you mix ingredients you what else do you do action related terms try putting those in there and see what comes up this is John Alexander for search engine academy and search engine workshops 
Um, I hope you have a good time with Google Insights. This is a phenomenal tool, and, and by all means, make sure you check out all the uh, help pages in uh, Google Files. They've done a great job. Take good care. We'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.